Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the Morgan Chopper. This Morgan Chopper employs the basic working principle of the current commutation only. That means the current passing in the commutation circuit, that current will pass, try to pass through the main thyristor, thereby it will turn off the main thyristor by decreasing the current passing through the main thyristor. Here only the difference is in the previous circuit in current commutation we have seen there will be two thyristors used. So the commutation circuit need one auxiliary thyristor also whereas in this circuit there is no thyristor. The auxiliary that uh, commutation circuits involves one is the diode D1 capacitor and here instead of normal reactor one saturable reactor is used. So this saturable reactor will decide how much time your thyristor will be in the on condition. That means this will set the duration. So uh, before proceeding let us first discuss about what is this saturable reactor. I am going to discuss only briefly. So data and analysis is beyond the scope of this course. So that's why I'm going to whatever level is required to understand the concept. So the saturable reactor. So the basic characteristic of this one is this offers the minimum inductance when it is in the saturated condition. That means whenever it is saturated, it offers the minimum inductance, very less inductance wherever it is. But whereas when it is unsaturated condition, it acts like almost like an open circuit. That means it offers very high reactance. So how that is achieved so that basically involves a thing like this. It will just resemble like something like a transformer. Basically two windings will be there. One winding is there. These two windings are connected in series. So let us discuss one by one. So this is my main winding or main terminals of the saturable reactor. Let us assume the current is passing like this. The winding is wound like this in these two limbs. When the current is passing like this, if you apply your right hand thumb rule, so right hand thumb rule, your curled finger indicates the direction of the current, then thumb indicates the direction of flux. That means if you apply your right hand thumb here, so you will get your direction of flux will be like this. So this direction the flux will be produced. So this manner the flux will come. So in the bottom side the flux will be like this, this manner. So then when it comes here because here it can divide either through this one or pass through this one. So for this what we will do in the second side also the number of turns will be same. Here the current direction is like that. The direction of the flux produced by them will be in the downward direction. That means the flux produced by this one will be in the downward direction like this. That means whatever the flux is produced, the same flux will pass through this one. This forms like closed path or otherwise this is producing some flux phi 1. Let us assume this is producing a flux phi 1. This is producing some flux. Let us assume phi 2. So here the value of phi 1 is equal to phi 2. If you see in the center what will happen if this want to close through the center it will close like this going bottom and coming back. This will go downwards. Whatever flux is produced by this it will go like this. It will go upwards. As both the fluxes are same, so the net flux in the central limb will be equal to zero. As the net flux in the central limb is zero, that means this flux that is produced by these two windings not linking with the central limb winding. So because of this, no EMF will be induced in this. That will not spoil any of this control circuitry. So this is basically involves a DC with some control resistor will be used, which can be adjusted to pass the current through these winding. So thereby, when the current is passing through this winding, it produces this flux in this core. So the flux will be produced or the amount of flux that is existing in the core can be easily controlled by using this control circuit. So thereby because your device can go to saturation deep saturation using the circuit. Anyway the detail analysis of this is beyond the scope for this. So let us try to summarize what is the basic observation from this. Here the thing is the basic characteristic of this saturable reactor is that the voltage time integral that means voltage multiplied by time because with respect to time if you apply some voltage that voltage multiplied by how much time duration that duration is fixed that is decided by your current that is passing in the control circuit. That means that is mainly decided by the DC control winding only. So that means if you are applying more voltage it will operate or it will go from non saturation to saturation in desert time. If you apply less voltage it will go from saturation to non saturated in more time only that is the difference. So whenever the voltage is applied to the saturable reactor what will happen it will change from unsaturated to saturated conditions after some time t that will be decided by voltage applied and current in the control circuit. So that will decide which direction it will saturate and after how much time. So the magnetizing current drawn in this case can be negligibly small because whatever the magnetizing current required to produce the flux that is already taken care by the control winding. That's why your main winding does not draw any current for magnetizing your core. 
that is the basic thing so with these basics let us proceed to working of this chopper so uh, basically this is my thyristor so initially what will happen from the supply through some the supply so that i am trying to draw here initially what will be there from the supply the current will pass like this it will pass through the capacitor to the saturable reactor then this will go to your load so this manner the load current will pass so when this is passing what will happen slowly gradually this capacitor will start charging so finally up to how much value it will charge it will charge until the supply voltage vs is reached so as the current is passing through these reactor after some time depending on the voltage that is applied to this because initially the voltage applied to this one is vs so it will go to saturation after some time after saturation it will act like a closed switch that means current can easily pass through vc so vc is charged to your supply voltage so initially we are assuming that vc is charged to the supply voltage and this reactor is initially saturated in the positive saturation region because the current is passing like this so this side will be plus this side minus in this manner it will be saturated so now at time t is equal to 0 at some time t is equal to 0 now what will be there if you see your supply here this plus is connected to this terminal anode this minus is connected through your load to this terminal or otherwise we can tell that main thyristor is already forward biased so i will trigger my main thyristor that means i am triggering my main thyristor at time t is equal to t naught so whenever you trigger your main thyristor what will happen your load current will start passing through your main thyristor to your load so here you can see the capacitor is basically charged this side plus and this side minus so whenever your thyristor act as a closed switch when your thyristor act as a closed switch then what will happen this entire voltage across this capacitor that will apply across your saturable reactor so previously saturable reactor is this side plus this side minus so now it is applying opposite so this side plus this side minus so after some time t that is decided by based on the control circuit after that time what will happen suddenly your inductor will start conducting initially it lacks like a open circuit suddenly it will try to act with a very low impedance circuit with some very less value of the inductance let us take that inductance at this condition will be some ls at that condition so now what will happen when reactance is very small so we know that this will act as a tank circuit so tank circuit the natural frequency of oscillation omega naught is pi into root of l into c so here the l is very less as l is very less the frequency of oscillation or the time required to complete one cycle or to change the voltage across this capacitor from positive to negative will be very small that means it will happen almost instantaneously the capacitor will discharge through this one so the polarity will change from previous state to opposite state the polarity will change from previous state to opposite state so when the polarity is changed it will become like this this side plus this side minus so now the, this reactor as it is conducting in opposite direction that means this is in reverse saturation condition that means this side is plus this side is minus so now what will happen because again this c and l this will form a closed tank circuit because itm is still conducting itm is still carrying a current i naught it acts as a closed switch so now what will happen this voltage v naught that is applied across your inductor so this plus is connected here minus is connected here so now what will happen again within that time t it will try to change from uh, positive that means negative saturation to positive saturation it will change its saturation state so whenever it changes again again it will offer the low reluctance for that particular path so that's why the capacitor will try to instantaneously discharge how it will discharge it will discharge through these uh, reactor it will try to discharge through this main thyristor so whenever that current huge value of the current is trying to pass through this so the net current through the main thyristor will be i naught minus this current so that will be equal to negative because whenever it becomes a negative your main thyristor will not allow the current in opposite direction so it will turn off so when the main thyristor is turned off how the current can pass so when the main thyristor is turned off then there is an alternate path that is provided by this diode d1 it will pass through this diode d1 and then charge in the opposite direction instantaneously so that i am representing here so it charges in the opposite direction instantaneously once it is charged then diode will be come to the normal state okay so now you can see this is same condition as the initial condition it is ready to conduct i am just trying to summarize all the things so i forget to tell only one thing when uh, this main thyristor is off as well as this d is off so how the load current is supplied because that load current will be supplied or passing through the freewheeling diode so what i mean to tell your load current will remain constant due to high value of the load inductance either it will pass through the main thyristor or otherwise 
it will pass through the freewheeling diode only two cases are possible so let us try to see the waveform for this one so i initially at time t is equal to zero i am assuming your capacitor is at the positive supply voltage your capacitor voltage is equal to plus vs so now at time t is equal to t naught i am just turning on my main thyristor when i am turning on my main thyristor then what will happen your main thyristor voltage whichever is initially in forward biased condition but blocking condition it will start conducting so voltage decreases to nearly zero so it will start conducting your load current that means your load current will be supplied by your main thyristor during this instant so that i am representing here you can see itm this is my i naught this i naught is supplied by itm the main thyristor is supplying during this duration so now what will happen whatever the capacitor voltage is there at this instant that will be applied across this reactor so reactor after some time t that means after this much time gap t1 minus t0 after this much time gap it will change from one type of saturation condition to another saturation condition so that means instantaneously it will act as a closed switch so your capacitor will discharge through it and charge its change its polarity instantaneously so your capacitor voltage is changed from plus vs to minus vs again it is changed to minus vs here so when it is changed to the minus vs then what will happen again it will try to again there is a closed path because still the main thyristor is conducting at that time so it will try to discharge through the main thyristor so when it try to discharge as the value of the ic because instantaneously the current it is discharging so current will be very high compared to the current passing through the main thyristor so that means the net current through the main thyristor will be negative so because of this your main thyristor will be reverse biased instantaneously and it will turn off so which will start conducting now diode d1 will conduct thereby it reverses its polarity you can see it is now reversing its polarity from t2 at t2 from minus vs to plus vs again so whenever it reversed its polarity as the main thyristor is off so that's why again across your main thyristor it will be equal to vs that means your main thyristor is again ready to supply again so here you can see this duration this duration so let us take it as some time t similarly this duration these two time durations are decided by what will be the voltage integral value how you are setting it using the control circuit for its saturable reactor that means your saturable reactor is deciding what will be the turn on time of the main thyristor the turn on time of the main thyristor is decided by the saturable reactor in this type of circuit so by adjusting the control circuit value we can easily adjust the things what are the benefits of this one the benefits of this one is only one thyristor is required here remaining all other things are taken care by the saturable reactor only disadvantage is saturable reactor again that will be a bulky or a bigger size so that's why your circuit size and cost will become little bit more due to a saturable reactor i hope that basic working of the morgan chopper is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much